For this lesson, we're going to focus on how to use track events within track view to trigger something. So in the basis of what we're going to do is we're going to set up a track view sequence. We're going to have a track event inside of that that is going to trigger when it goes down the timeline. And then when we see that the track event is set to true, it will enable us to be able to check it and disable a light in the scene. So to begin with, let's grab the light. We're going to go ahead and just grab a default light and throw it in, bring it up just a little bit. And then I'm going to change the diffuse multiplier something crazy, like 500. Let's go ahead and make it a color that we'll easily be able to see. And this is pretty much going to be our mechanism to check. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a flow graph entity. I'm going to go ahead and snap this to geometry and pressing control and shift down I can snap it to the terrain. Let's go ahead and create a flow graph that we're going to use later. We'll use track underscore FG. And I'm going to go ahead and dock that in this right here. I'm going to go to tools and I'm going to grab track view. And it's already docked to the bottom right there. That's pretty nice. We're going to create a new sequence, and we'll call this one track event underscore seq. So we're going to bring down the curve editor, and we're really just concerned with this. If we go to view, we can see that our unit says time. So if I hold down the middle mouse button like before, I can scrub it. And then if I hold down control, I can zoom out. So what I want to do is I want to create a track event. So in order to do that, I go to Edit, New Event, and I'm going to say track event underscore T T. And now I can right click here and I can add a node, and that will be the event itself. We can go ahead and go forward a little bit, and we've added a keyframe. I'm going to make this to three seconds. As you can see, it moved it. And then we can choose the event, which is the track event toot. And then the event value, we're going to set to 1, which is just basically a true. So now if this plays forward, we're able to trigger that event to create a true value, in theory, with what it's outputting. So now we can go ahead and just close that sequence. We're not going to touch it anymore. And we can go into Flow Graph. I know that I'm going to want to go to Animations, and we're going to play Sequence. And we're going to look for the sequence that we just created, which is Track Event Sequence. Click OK, and I want to start in... Basically, I just want to start the trigger. So I'm going to go into Q, Input, and we're going to do Debug Input Key. And when I press that, I want to start it. So now that we have that covered, we're ready to do another thing, and that is check the track event itself. And unlike all of this, we can actually just right-click, and we can add a track event node. Oops. That ahead of myself, track event node. And then we can choose the sequence that we want, which is this sequence. And it automatically lines it up. So pretty much we know that this is going to output true. I'm going to go ahead and take another input key because I'm going to check that value and then I'm going to work with the light that we did. So the key that I'm going to do is an O and I didn't set this one either so we set that to P. And then I want to do an equal check so we'll do Q equal and then we go to math equal check. This is going to output one and I'm going to check this equal check to one itself. So on pressed, we're going to check it, and if it's true, we want to take this light, we're going to add the selected entity, and if true, we're going to disable it. It's as simple as that. So now we have our full flow graph set up. Let's go ahead and make a comment box. Call this track event tutorial. We'll put it into position, too far out, and then I'm going to change it to white. 
So let's go ahead and pull this off for a second and we'll dock it to the bottom. I'm going to turn on debugging right here. And so I'm going to press Control S to save my scene and then jump in and see what happens. So I've hopped in and if I press P, we can see down there that it has played out and now we have gone to the equal check. And if I press the O key, it should set to true. And then it disables the light. So this has been a basic tutorial on how you can nest track events inside of a sequence. You don't have to do an input key. It could be solely through a proximity trigger or an area trigger or anything in your level that can basically run off of the event of a cinematic. So keep that in mind. And if anything, you at least learn how to turn off a light. And then you can expand upon that event system solely through TrackView itself.